How wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. If you turn yourself in now, the Templars may spare your life. The Templars! We will destroy their entire pathetic order. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. The demons are using you. Fight them! In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us! Absurd! We should be ruling them! We should rule you all! Kill the vessels only if you must! Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. What do you remember about how you got here? I... I was with a lady. And then things got fuzzy. Nightmares then. On fire for days. A demon laughing. The naked lady with her razor claws in my chest. I'd wake and hear screams. Maybe my own. I'm sorry. It's all a tangle in my head. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. Uh, what was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste! De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Tarani was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True. Not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. 
He's safe. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. Karen did nothing wrong. You can't strip his livelihood on the off chance Tarane succeeded. Please, Knight Captain. I'll prove I'm loyal. Ask me anything. My brother's a good man, sir. He would never succumb to a demon. Perhaps it is best to keep our enemies close. We can watch him far better here than in the city. So be it. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Oh. Meryl. So you've returned. How has your time been among the Shemlin? It's been nothing but roses and rainbows, Master Island. The alienage is lovely in the spring. The collapsing shacks and drunken brutes are nicely offset by the knee-deep mud. This path has been of your own choosing, Meryl. A path that has saddened the clan greatly. Perhaps if the clan was more accepting of the ancient ways and not so mired in fear. Enough! We will not bicker like children in front of strangers. We cannot undo what is done. My apologies for that display. Perhaps we can start again. You've returned. Is there something you need? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. Do you have any pure iron bark in stock? What use is iron bark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Either way, I'm out of stock. I do know where it can be found, but it is impossible to retrieve. Our people were forbidden from venturing to the area after we lost two of our best hunters there. What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you think you would succeed where we could not. The place is overrun by Darkspawn. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. I can't thank you enough for letting me come here. But it hasn't been... quite what I thought. Has the Keeper been able to help you with your magic? Sadly, his is not a problem we've encountered before. I'm studying our ancient writings, but it is a slow process. His human blood makes it difficult to train him. You know, when I lived in Kirkwall, I felt like everyone could tell by my face I was an elf. Now I understand how easily I passed. It's harder here. Still, we appreciate you bringing him here, friend. We would not see a son of our tribe suffer alone. Please, accept this as our thanks. I've been sent for the man you've cornered here in the ruins. Ah. So you're the reinforcements the Magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Please, calm down and tell me what happened. The man you're after, he targets elves! He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her! I want him dead! My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is El. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the Magistrate won't take our word over his. Why only elves? Why not human children as well? We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. I'm sorry about your daughter. 
But murdering this man outright is no solution. No! Don't you understand? If you take him in, he'll be free again by nightfall! For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? They won't go in after him. They're stalling, trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the Magistrate will have your head. I must do what is right. Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. What kind of demons? What did they look like? I don't know what they look like. I didn't actually see any of them. But Kelder told me to run, to get away so they couldn't make him hurt me anymore. Please don't kill him. It's not his fault. Please. I'm taking Kelder back to Kirkwall. They'll figure out what to do with him there. Maybe they can help him. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. The Magistrate sent me. I've never even met your father. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me and what I've done hidden away. He's known, and he's been protecting you this whole time. The Magistrate is supposed to protect the people of the city, and that includes the Elves. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That Elf girl, she had no right to be so beautiful. So perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her. She was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good, so pure? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. It's obvious that you're not well. You need help. No, I'm not mad. It's the demons. Real mages suffer enough without charlatans like you making it worse. Coward. Doesn't even have the balls to own up to his own depravity. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. 
First smart thing he said. Give him what he wants. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. If nothing short of killing you will stop this, then so be it. Goodbye, Kelda. You saved her! My little girl! I didn't dare hope... Did you find that monster? Is he dead? He won't harm Leah or anyone else ever again. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. Master Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templars sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. Who's Meredith? You have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the Circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Blessing. I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this blood magic. The rest of them... They're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. They're here! The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle! Decimus, no! Stay your hand! These are no Templars! 
What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call. You killed him? Oh, Decimus. You should have listened to me, love. You, you are one of us. But you wear no mark of the circle. How is it you side against your own? Maybe your lover should have tried hello. We're friendlier than you think. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. He obviously meant a lot to you. He was our future. Until he came, we never thought to fight back. I told Decimus he was going too far, but he said it was the only way to protect us. To protect me. Please. We only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. If not in the Circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places, outside the Free Marches, where the Templars are not so vigilant. What do you ask of me? There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Kirkwall before the Templars send more men. Better the death of one Templar than so many innocents. Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? Leave it to me. By the time I'm done, these Templars will swear that the sky is green. Your confidence almost makes me believe you. But I spent two weeks traveling with these Templars. They strike first and think after. They are far easier to kill than to fool. Are you trying to tell me this boy is all that's left of the apostates? I ran away when they began to use blood magic, sir. They are not in the cavern, Sir Karas. I have thoroughly explored- Who is this? Tell him who we are. I'm astonished Sir Thrask didn't mention that Sir Hawk, Knight Lieutenant of the Order in Ferelden, was here at the Knight Commander's personal invitation. Uh, yes. Yes, I was just about to tell him. We've completed our investigation of the mages in those caverns. There is no one left inside. The apostates resorted to blood magic and ended up turning on each other. Their leader fled the battlefield ahead of us. The bloody coward left his own people to die. I uh, caught only a glimpse, but it looked like the back passages led out to the coast. I sent your men that way. We can still catch up if we go around the caverns. That's the faster route. The coast, you say? Men, fan out, search the shore. We will retrieve these corpses later. I will commend you to the Knight Commander, Sir Hawk. Thank you, my friend. I didn't think you could do it. Truly, you must be able to charm a miser out of his last coin. I did not think any of us would leave those caverns alive. It won't be an easy path, trying to live free as a mage. But it will be my path. Please, accept my staff as a reward. It has the mark of Starkhaven on it. I dare not carry it now. It should bring a good price. Now, we must flee as far as we can before nightfall. Thank you, friend. Here, miss. Word is, you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Can you get this deep into Lowtown and be that stupid? It does appear she could use some help, especially now. Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. A foolish risk in Lowtown. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. You make a lot of assumptions. It almost got you killed already. All the more reason to end this quickly. You must need coin. Everyone here does. Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. 
I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. I am expected. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. If this is criminal, I already have enough trouble. I should think you're about to have more. I am Sister Patrice. This is my burden of charity. Twist my tail. Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts. I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. If you're so intent on this, why not use Chartry resources? My order will soon realize the Canari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, I must act on my own. Helping this mage shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. You're not interested in who you might be hiring? If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist, what is your family name? My name is Hawk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Kunari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Will he help? If I trust him at all. I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar, but I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He has followed every direction and made no aggressive moves even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. I had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader? If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talvashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. I had never thought about the plight of mages among the Canari. But it seems they are even more oppressed than we are. That is obviously not an option. You must avoid incident with the guards. I cannot be linked to this. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. <laughs>